everyone! It's me, the Otaku Fangirl, here to review episode 9 of Ruby, volume 5. So with this episode, oh boy! Oh, so, Cinder and the gang, they show up at Raven's camp, and we definitely get confirmation now that Vernal is the Spring Maiden! Yay! I was kind of hoping for a Maiden versus Maiden fight, but that's not what happened. We got something a little bit worse. Negotiations have been made, yeah, between Cinder and Raven. And Raven wants Crow dead! Okay, that's not good. Um, <laughs> I'm just like, yep, there's those crow death flags uh, popping up again, but um, <laughs> yeah, so there's that. And for Cinder, she wants the whole, like, you know, she wants the relic for Salem, but at the same time, she wants to face off against Ruby because of what happened in Volume 3. So it's like, yeah. And um, <laughs> it was weird to have Cinder call Mercury and Emerald her disciples. I was like, really? You're going to use that word to describe them? What about your henchmen instead? But disciples was such a word that she used. I'm like, that's okay, but anyway, it was also funny when Raven was, um, like, calling them out on, like, <laughs> like, you know, the guy is a, you know, scientist or whatever, and then she's like, uh, Ra or not Raven, but, uh, uh, Cinder's last name is so, like, you know, good because she's the fall maiden and everything. I thought that was hilarious. But anyway, um, so the negotiations are basically, you know, on the night of the full moon when Haven is going to get attacked by the White Fang is that that is when, um, they'll go try to get the relic and stuff and, but here's the thing. Raven also wants the relic and I'm like, okay, that's interesting. So they've made the negotiation, they've made the deal. But Raven's like, yeah, no, I know what they're planning. They're never going to let us go and everything, even though they say they will. Yada, 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 because that's how Salem works. You know, once they fulfill their purpose, discard it, which most likely means kill, possibly? I'm not sure, but, um, yeah, so there's that. Um, <laughs> but, uh, meanwhile, with Blake and everybody, um, her dad's fine. For now, he's fine. He's actually fighting with Sun, is how it ends up, fighting against those two, um, uh, Faunus, part of the, uh, White Fang. And, um, yeah, I'm still, uh, worried for, uh, <laughs> Blake's dad. I feel like he still could die. Like, maybe he, like, dies, like, like, I don't know, because Sun's gonna be fine, I hope. <laughs> I'm like, Sun's gonna be okay. I'm pretty sure, but her, Blake's dad, yeah, he's got death flags all written all over him. Sun, maybe a few. But, um, I think Sun's gonna be okay. But, uh, we don't, we don't even know if Blake's mom is fine, you know? Like, I thought we were gonna see her at least something, like, maybe Blake would go to her and see, like, Mom, are you okay? Blah, blah, blah. But, nope. We actually got, uh, Blake is going to fight Ilya. That's gonna be interesting. I'm actually very interested to see that fight. I'm like, ooh. Oh boy, <laughs> that's gonna be fun to watch. Um, <laughs> but um, also with uh, Crow, apparently Ozpin wants to have a talk with him, and I think Raven was um is gonna like listen on the talk because I think she flew away from the camp, and you see the same bird fly by uh, where Crow is. So I'm like, is she gonna listen in on whatever Ozpin is about to tell Crow? I'm very curious, or I I'm just I think that's what's gonna happen. I have this feeling, but um. Good timing on Raven's part, I guess. I don't know. Um, or she's going to Crow to be like, hey, let's pretend you die. <laughs> I don't know. That'd be kind of interesting. Because I'm like, really? Raven wants to kill Crow? No. <laughs> Unacceptable. I know, like, you know, I don't know. It's like they're brother and sister. They gotta at least care somewhat for each other. You know, they can't absolutely hate each other. Right? <laughs> Right? <laughs> but, um, this episode was quite interesting, and we finally got confirmation that Vernal is the Spring Maiden, because she did the whole woo do do thing. But, yeah, people were saying it's not her! I don't know what your problem was, because that is definitely the Spring Maiden if I've ever seen one. Um, so yeah, good episode. We'll have to see how all this stuff goes down in the next one. What do you guys think of the episode? What do you think's gonna happen next? And I'll see you guys in whatever I review next. Bye!